Welcome back, nerds, to the second ever episode of Video Game Jeopardy. I am your host, Ruben, of Nerdspace Games, here to bring you guys, yes you, 31 questions relating to your favorite video games of all time. Now, it's been a while since our last Video Game Jeopardy, so I'm sure you guys need a little refresher on the rules. Firstly, there will be six categories with five different questions apiece, ranging in difficulty. Starting with the 100 point questions being the easiest, obviously, all the way down to the terrifying 500 point questions being the hardest. And in case you missed it, since this is Video Game Jeopardy, that means every single question will relate to video games in some way, shape, or form. As for the time limit between the question and answer, I'll give you guys about six seconds after I ask the question to give me an answer. If you think that won't be enough, feel free to pause. I won't tell anybody because, you know, I won't really know. Anyways, we'll start with the 100 point questions first, then we'll move on to the 200 point questions and so on until the board is completely cleared. After the board is completely cleared, we'll move on to the final Jeopardy question. Here, I'll give you guys the category and then you guys make a bid based on how well you think you know that category. After which I'll reveal the question and give you 20 seconds to answer. Get it right and you double the amount of points that you bet. Get it wrong and you lose that amount of points. Now at the end of the game, be sure you do not forget to post your score in the comments below because I want to know how you guys did on this video game Jeopardy episode. Also, if you can hit that like button because it will really help promote this video and hopefully get us a little bit more views, get a little bit more attention on these episodes. Now with the rules out of the way, let's get to today's categories. First one is Resident Evil 4. Stars Alpha Team King of Horror selected this category. All the questions will be about, you guessed it, the original Resident Evil 4. Sidekicks, questions about sidekicks and supporting characters of your favorite video games. Theme music, stars Alpha Team member Javi Rod selected this category. I'll play a tune and you will have to guess what video game that tune is from. Resident Evil content creators, another Patreon choice. This time we'll take a look at Resident Evil content creators like myself. I'll give you hints as to who they are and you'll have to tell me what is the name of that YouTube channel. Console exclusives. I'll list off three video games. You have to tell me what console these three video games initially released on. Indie horror games. Of course, to get us in the spirit for Halloween, these questions will be about some of the best indie horror games to ever release and some really exciting upcoming indie horror games. So now we have our categories, you have your rules, it is time to play Video Game Jeopardy. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the 100 point questions as always, and of course we start with Resident Evil 4, and remember, this is on the original game, not the remake. For 100 points, Ada had two post game modes available on Resident Evil 4, separate ways, and this mode. And the correct answer is, what is Assignment Ada? Have you retrieved the sample? Not yet. Some kind of trouble? Sadler. He knows. Ah. Your extraction chopper will pick you up at the rendezvous point as planned. I'll be there. Now let's take a look at psychics for 100 points. Master Chief's AI Companion. Come on guys, this is a no-brainer. It is, of course, Cortana. Now let's take a look at theme music for 100 points. Name the game that this theme music is from. And that is of course Sonic the Hedgehog. Now we're looking at Resident Evil content creators for 100 points. This content creator does ranking videos, video game Jeopardy, and hosted the Survival Horror Podcast. Okay, you guys are going to really break my heart if you got this one wrong, but this is of course Nerd Space Games, yours truly. Now let's take a look at console exclusives for 100 points. God of War 2018, Marvel Spider-Man, and The Last of Us Part 2.
All right, so hopefully you guys know how this category works now, but this, of course, is the PlayStation 4. Now let's take a look at indie horror games for 100 points. The title of the first game in the Amnesia series. What is Amnesia The Dark Descent? Which, by the way, if you guys haven't played this game, make sure you get your hands on this game. Now we're back to the 200 point question, starting with Resident Evil 4. Leon originally starts with this handgun at the start of the game. And the correct answer is, what is Matilda? <laughs> now we're taking a look at sidekicks for 200 points. Link's fairy companion in Ocarina of Time. Who is Navi? All right, we're gonna play another song for you guys because we're taking a look at theme music for 200 points. Name the game that this theme music is from. That is, of course, Silent Hill 2. And if you guys paid attention to my channel, I actually play this soundtrack a lot in the background of some of my videos. Now we're taking a look at Resident Evil content creators for 200 points. This channel primarily focuses on Resident Evil content. The intro to each video is a door opening and the name is a play on the Resident Evil name itself. This is Resident of Evil. Console exclusives for 200 points, Pokemon Emerald, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and Golden Sun. What is Game Boy Advance? And finally, the last 200 point question goes to indie horror games. Developed by Kinetic Games, this is a four player co-op experience focused on ghost hunting with video cameras. Hopefully I don't butcher this name, but what is Phasmophobia? And just like that, we are now almost halfway through looking at the 300 point questions. First off, back to Resident Evil 4. A rocket launcher costs this much to purchase from the merchant. Yep, you better get that 30K ready because that's how much it costs to get one of those rocket launchers in the original game. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Sidekicks for 300 points. This is the type of weapon that Goofy uses in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, no joke. Goofy actually uses a shield as a weapon in Kingdom Hearts. If you never played the series, play it because that's actually my second favorite video game series of all time. Just under Resident Evil, of course. Theme music for 300 points. As always, name the game that this theme music is from. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, once again, we're looking at Kingdom Hearts for the answer to this question. Resident Evil content creators for 300 points. The initials for this content creator's channel is RC, which is seen in his channel's logo. That's my friend, Rapid Crafter. Console exclusives for 300 points. Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Gravity Rush, and Tearaway. This one might be a little bit harder, but it is, of course, what is PlayStation Vita? And finally, 300 points for indie horror games. This video game won Best Indie Horror Game at the 2023 Horror Game Awards. What is Signalis? Which, by the way, you guys should definitely play, especially if you love classic survival horror experiences. <laughs> All right, we're at the 400 point questions. Let's start with Resident Evil 4. This is how old Ashley Graham is.
Despite the way she acts, she is, of course, 20 years old. Ashley. Don't come! Hey, take it easy. No! Get away! Yeah, doesn't really seem like it, does it? Sidekicks for 400 points. Speaking of age, this is how old Atreus is during the events of God of War 2018. He is 11 years old, guys. Theme music, 400 points. Name the game that this theme music is from. A classic, guys. A true classic. Final Fantasy. Resident Evil content creators for 400 points. One of the biggest female content creators for survival horror games. Her channel name combines a shape with a type of monster in Resident Evil. That is, of course, the Spear Hunter. And 400 points for console exclusives. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Yes, that is a name of a video game. And it's one of my favorite video games, actually. I really, really think this game is underrated. The world ends with you and Hotel Dust Room 215. What is Nintendo DS? Indie horror games for 400 points. So this is about one of those upcoming games that haven't released yet, but this is developed by Moonglint. This indie horror game is inspired by Resident Evil 2 and primarily takes place in a small town in Europe. Probably one of my most anticipated survivor horror games coming out. It is, of course, Echoes of the Living. All right, guys, get hype. It's time. We are finally here. It's the 500 point questions. That's right. If you get all six of these questions right, you will walk away with 3,000 points going to Final Jeopardy just from this round alone. It's time. I hope you guys are ready. Let's start with Resident Evil 4. Fill in the blank. Faith in blank will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Play this game enough, you should easily come up with this answer. It is faith in money. Sidekicks for 500 points. In Mega Man 3, Rush is able to turn into a hoverboard, Rush Jet, a coil, Rush Coil, and this. What is a submarine? Theme music, 500 points. Come on, guys, you know the drill. Name the theme. Okay, so this one is kind of way out there, but you know what? If you watch one of my videos, the videos that I talk about my top video game of every single year, you probably heard this theme playing. It is, of course, Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. If you got this, please let me know in the comments because this is a very underrated game, and I will be extremely happy if you guys somehow manage to get this one right. Please let me know. Please let me know. 500 points for Resident Evil content creators. This channel does content like 25 facts on multiple Resident Evil characters and shares his name with an iconic item in Resident Evil. That is of course Ink Ribbon and 500 points for console exclusives. Skies of Arcadia, Sonic Adventure 2 and Grandia 2. Hopefully I didn't butcher any of those names, but this is of course the Sega Dreamcast, probably one of the most underrated consoles of all time, I think. And the last 500 point question comes down to indie horror games. This is the main character in Tormented Souls and its upcoming sequel. Who is Caroline Walker? 
Okay, guys, with the board completely sweep, you guys know what time it is. It is time for Final Jeopardy. So I'm going to give you guys the category, and then you guys are going to have a moment to go ahead and bid. How many points do you think you want to bet based off of the category that I give you guys? And I'm going to let you guys know, this question is kind of tough. It's pretty tough. So choose wisely, because you can lose a lot of points, or you, know, you can gain a lot of points. Now, the category for Final Jeopardy is Marvel Spider-Man. So go ahead and put your bids in, guys. You have about 20 seconds to decide how many points you want to bet. And then I will ask you guys the question on Marvel Spider-Man. Okay, time's up. Let's see if you guys chose correctly. In Marvel Spider-Man, collecting all the backpacks scattered around New York City unlocks this suit. All right, time's up. Let's see if you made the right choice. Correct answer is, what is the homemade suit? Okay, guys, that does it for this episode of Video Game Jeopardy. Let me know in the comments what your final score is. Don't lie to me. Be truthful. Be honest. Let me know your final score on this episode of Video Game Jeopardy. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I think I'm going to stick to just doing these once a month, although I am planning on doing at least one more in October, specifically a Halloween edition. That's right. On October 31st, I want to do another one of these focusing on terrifying horrifying video games as the categories so it's going to be video game jeopardy halloween edition after that we'll see how things are going maybe i'll continue doing this maybe i'll put a stop on it if you guys don't seem to like it as much let me know in the comments what you guys think but anyways thanks for tuning in and i will see you guys on the next episode of nerds based games take care